what's up everyone um hopping on here to do my first youtube video <clears throat> based off of uh guys wanting some tips on some various different problems that we run into in the construction industry um if you're not already on my Instagram page, American Trades, um, get on there. What I do is I ask a question, it's called Slap Dick Trivia, every single day for the most part. I mean, I, I try to stay with it. Sometimes I, I miss a day or so, but the moral of it is to try to get people to know a little bit more about their trade. And what I do is I'll ask a question, um, like one that I'm going to go over right now, actually. Um, the question was, how can you figure out if your square, your two foot square, is square? And uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it here in a minute. But people messaged me and sent me their replies. A lot of guys were saying that they they do it this way or do it that way. Um, and what I was mainly looking for was to see if anyone knew an old trick that was taught to me a couple of years ago from actually a helper of mine, which was a jam up badass fitter. Um, he, and he actually taught me a lot of stuff. Um, this being one of them. And prior to that, I had no idea about this trick. So it's not that I haven't been in the industry long, it's just this specific trick wasn't taught to me. So I never knew about it. And it's just like anything else. If you're not learning, are you really trying um, to better yourself? Probably not. Um, the guys that think that they know it all and they don't have anything more to learn, they're the guys that normally don't make it or don't do too well on a job. Um, which everyone is entitled to their own way. So what I've essentially done was have gotten a, quite a few questions together to ask the people, the tradesmen, the guys that are in the construction field, what they wanted to kind of see on the page. Um, and I put welding or I put uh, heavy equipment. A lot of guys want to see the welding stuff. Um, my goal mainly for American Trades and this page, this YouTube channel that has started today essentially, is to just not really think about one specific trade, um, but a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you can be applied to several different trades. Um, that, that way it's a little bit more broad I by no means am going to make this a welding page. I think there's just too many of them. I mean, the list goes on and on. Um, I don't even post or repost people's welds because it's just, that, that's not what I want to do. I want to showcase the people that are working and the people that are earning and burning and hustling and grinding. Um, that, so that's mainly what the page is about. But this YouTube channel is just going to be a couple tips and tricks and maybe a couple informative videos that, that may help someone up and coming or maybe someone that's been in the trade but they just haven't learned this specific technique or something. Um, I don't know it all by any means. I want to be absolutely crystal clear. I do not know it all. I don't claim to know it all. Um, but I've been doing this for 14 years. I've been in this industry for 14 years, so I have seen quite a bit of stuff. Um, and that's how I'm able to kind of come up with these tips and tricks um, that hopefully will better people when they're working or well, they may get into a bond and think that, uh, oh yes, that, that guy kind of showed me something once. Um, and there's always gonna be kickback or the older guys some of the older guys and probably some of the guys even my age that are oh he knows it all or um 
I'm not going to take any advice from a a young guy or whatever the case may be, which is fine. I, I don't I don't really want to cater to those kind of guys, anyways. But here is a trip. Here's a tip. Um, take your square. This is a two foot square, right? Carpenter square, what most people know them to be. And what it comes down to is how do you know if this is square here? Okay. A lot of guys said you would make a line, flip it around, and all that kind of stuff, which works, I'm sure, for most. The trick that was taught to me would be come down three or come down four, come over three, come over four. Then your space from your four, depending on if you want your four or your three on the bottom, to your three or your four on the top, or your three and the four, and then your three and the four, depending on which one it is. They have to be opposite. So if you've got four up here, you can't have four down here. If you've got three here, you can't have three here. One has to be four, one has to be three. Um, there is your ruler that's on there. I don't personally like going off of that. So what I'll do, I'll take my table here. I'll come over. I don't ever hold the end like that. I don't ever do that. I'll burn an inch or two inches or three inches, however the case may be, depending on like what your width ends up being. I'll burn some inches so I know that that mark will be directly flat and in line with all that stuff. Hopefully you guys are able to see me. So I'll burn an inch or two and then go from there. And what I'm gonna do is make a measurement from here down four inches and I'm gonna mark it. Okay. Now again, this may not be for everyone, but this is what I do. Then I'm gonna take a measurement from here. I came down four inches and made my mark. You can just see it. I'm gonna come from here over three inches. Same thing, I'm gonna burn my inch or two inches, whatever the case may be. I know it's gonna be five inches just because that's how my tape is set right now. So make sure you are precise with this because this is gonna be the measurements that you're gonna go off of. I normally don't use something this thick, but this is what I grabbed for just the purpose of showing people how to do this. All right, so I've got my three inches, boom. Okay. So we come down four, over three. Now we're going to take a measurement from the four to the three. That measurement should be five inches. That's why it's called three, four, five. Okay, it's simple trig or I don't even know if it's even simple trig. I guess it would be simple trig. Um, the Pythagorean theorem. I probably didn't say that right, but it's okay. I know what I mean. And most of you guys probably will too once you see what I'm talking about. So yeah, imagine there being a line straight across. So you've got your triangle, right? Well, on a perfect triangle, everything's going to be square. So this will be square to that. So that's the whole purpose of this. Is to make sure everything is square. So we're going to take a measurement. Again, I'm going to burn an inch or four inches in this case. And I have about five and a sixteenth. Okay. This square is out. I grabbed this one because I knew it was out. More or less for the video. So what it ends up needing to be, and I've mentioned this before to some folks, these things can be fixed. This is an aluminum one. The aluminum ones are a lot easier to fix. I don't particularly like the aluminum ones, but this is one that I had that I knew was messed up and I haven't fixed it because I've got a couple other steel ones that I don't really need this one for. Um, so what you would do, 
This is 5 and a 16th. Okay, so this needs to come in to create it, or for, for it to be 5 inches. So this coming in will bring it down from 5 and a 16th to 5. So for the aluminum ones and the metal ones, I've fixed plenty of metal ones. A lot of people will just throw these away. You can, or you can fix them. Um, there's guys that will say, oh, it's just a $15 item. Well, I don't personally like spending $15 if I don't have to. I'd rather buy something else. So what I do, imagine this is a skid or piece of wood. You want to hit wood. Um, but the whole purpose of it is to bend this back in. So what you would do, essentially smack it down. I'm not going to do this because on this bench because it's my reloading bench and I really don't want to mess it up. But you would smack it down and that would bring that in. Take your measurement again, four, three. Now make sure you do this. Make sure you, you're changing your, your marks or at least verifying that nothing crazy has changed. Just verify from your corner. Three, four. Measure across. Do that until you get five inches. When you get five inches, you know this thing is gonna be square, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna work for every bit of what you're needing it to do. Um, a lot of guys will say, well, what about the ends? You're gonna mess the ends up. Um, I'd say maybe you probably could. Um, I have literally fixed probably, I don't know, several dozen. The end being a little rounded or something has never affected me or my job or my work coming out really messed up. Um, if you're building stuff for, say, NASA or something crazy, you're not going to use one of these more or less. You're going to use lasers and it's going to be a lot more precise than just this and the eyeballs. Um, so it would be a lot different. But for pipe fitting, you know, if you're working in a refinery or on a pipeline, when people say you don't need these on a pipeline, they obviously never put on a lot of fittings in Ohio, West Virginia, or Pennsylvania, or any other crazy hills. Um, maybe in Texas you don't, but up in the Northeast, you definitely do. So you're constantly using these things. But that's how I fix mine. Just smack it down, or if it needs to go out, just smack it that way to lift it out. Um, other than that, as far as this goes, that's, that's essentially how you do it. It's called three, four, five. And when, when I mean everybody that, I'm gonna go over it again real quick. Three, four, five. Um, I'll talk about real quick too, aluminum. Um, squares versus steel squares. These ones, you put them in a toolbox, they get bent like crazy. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a bow to it. So I'm sure there's probably one this way and all kinds of craziness. Um, I don't particularly prefer aluminum. For one, they're more expensive. The yeah, other light, but I don't take these things around all day. I don't need to. If you do, then I'm sorry, but I've not even seen fitters that really need to tote these things around all day. So I buy steel ones. They hold up way better. Um, no, they don't stay the prettiest. They do rust. I'll show you. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. I mean, yeah, it's rusted. You, can, you really have to kind of squint to see the numbers on it. But guess what? You just brush it off. And it's like fine again. I mean, there, there's really nothing that's gonna hurt these things. You, if you fill them in a toolbox, they're not gonna get bent. I mean, it takes a lot more than aluminum. So I prefer the steel ones. Um, a lot of guys also will use their speed squares to square these up, um, which that's fine. I mean, if you guys got something else to use that you know is square, by all means. But if you've got two squares and you don't have one of these, um, because you're 10 miles into the woods working off of a tack rig or a maruka and you've got two squares and you need to figure out if they're square or not because you're having issues with, with how things are fitting, 
then you can always pull that method out. Or I'm sure there's a hundred different scenarios where you would measure and go from there. But that's what I wanted to get on here and say um, about this. Hopefully you guys kind of got some information. Um, I will be definitely doing some more of these if this kind of gets enough um, views, I guess. If it's not going to help people, then I'm not going to do it because I really don't need to put any more effort into other things because I've got enough stuff going on as it is. But if it's something that people are going to like, um, I'll continue to do more. Um, I've heard people say that if you hit the thumbs up and subscribe, it really helps. Um, so definitely do that. Um, if you don't want to and you're just being a stubborn ass, then so be it. I can't, I don't have help for you. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to make another video soon and we'll go from there. We'll see how this one goes. Thank you for your time guys and I'll talk to you soon. Be safe.